Picture a car that quietly reshapes your idea of what a car is supposed to be. Not faster just for bragging rights, not bigger for the sake of presence, but smarter in every possible way. A vehicle that wakes up every morning already charged because it spent the day harvesting sunlight. A machine so slippery through the air that it barely has to work to move forward. This isn't a concept sketch or distant promise. This is the Aptera solar electric vehicle, and its performance tells a story the auto industry has avoided for decades. For more than a century, speed and efficiency have lived on opposite sides of the automotive world. If you wanted performance, you accepted waste. If you wanted efficiency, you settled for slow and boring. Aptera exists to prove that trade-off was never necessary in the first place. At first glance, the Aptera looks different because it is different. Three wheels instead of four, a shape that feels more like an aircraft fuselage than a traditional car. Every curve, every surface, every millimeter of its body is designed for one goal, reducing resistance. That obsession results in a drag coefficient of around 0.13, a number so low it completely reframes what efficiency at speed can look like. For context, even highly optimized electric sedans are nearly twice as draggy. What that means in the real world is simple. Aptera doesn't fight the air, it slips through it. That aerodynamic advantage sets the foundation for everything else, including its top speed. Depending on configuration, Aptera is designed to reach up to about 110 miles per hour. On paper, that number might not scream supercar, but it misses the point entirely. Aptera was never built to dominate a drag strip. It was engineered to dominate real-world driving, highway cruising, long-distance travel, daily commuting. By setting a reasonable top speed ceiling, the vehicle preserves efficiency, protects range, and allows its solar charging system to actually matter in everyday use. And that's where the story gets interesting. Most vehicles burn exponentially more energy as speed increases. Air resistance rises sharply, motors work harder, and range evaporates. Aptera's ultra-low drag changes that equation. Cruising at highway speeds doesn't punish efficiency the way it does in conventional vehicles. You're not bleeding energy just to stay moving forward. That single fact redefines what sustainable high-speed travel can be. Acceleration is where expectations truly get shattered. In its highest performance configuration, Aptera is designed to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in roughly 3.5 seconds. That puts it firmly in the territory of performance-oriented electric sedans and sports cars. The idea that a solar-assisted, ultra-efficient vehicle can launch that hard feels almost contradictory, yet the physics make it possible. Lightweight construction and immediate electric torque are a powerful combination. Other configurations scale performance based on need rather than excess. Mid-range versions are expected to reach 60 in around 5.5 to 6 seconds, which is more than quick enough for confident highway merging and passing. Even the base configuration delivers acceleration comparable to mainstream economy cars, ensuring no version feels sluggish or compromised. What makes all of this possible is the complete absence of a traditional gearbox. There is no multi-speed transmission, no complex shifting logic, no drivetrain losses buried in mechanical complexity. Instead, Aptera uses direct-drive in-wheel motors. Each motor delivers power straight to the wheel it controls. No drive shafts, no differentials, no unnecessary friction. This approach simplifies everything. Fewer moving parts mean lower weight, higher reliability, and reduced maintenance. Energy that would normally be lost inside a transmission goes directly into motion.
the motors themselves produce maximum torque from a standstill, eliminating the need for multiple gears entirely. Each motor does include a simple single-speed reduction gear, but it's a fixed ratio designed to optimize efficiency rather than performance theatrics. Depending on configuration, Aptera uses either a single front-mounted motor for maximum efficiency or a three-motor setup with one motor in each wheel. The three-motor configuration enables all-wheel drive behavior, instant torque distribution, and precise control under acceleration and cornering. This isn't about brute force, it's about intelligent power delivery. What truly separates Aptera from every other electric vehicle, though, is how all of this performance coexists with solar charging. The body of the vehicle is covered in integrated solar cells, capable of generating up to 40 miles of range per day under ideal conditions. For many drivers, especially in sunny regions, that's enough to cover daily driving without ever plugging in. And here's the crucial part. That solar integration doesn't come at the expense of speed or acceleration. You still get rapid launches, you still get highway-capable performance. The difference is that the energy fueling those miles increasingly comes from the sky rather than the grid. Over the course of a year, that changes everything. Commuters with moderate driving habits could realistically drive tens of thousands of miles while rarely, if ever, connecting to a charger. Comparisons help put this into perspective. Traditional electric sedans can be quick, but they rely on large battery packs and frequent charging. Trucks and SUVs can be powerful, but their weight demands enormous energy consumption. Aptera flips that model by attacking inefficiency at its root. Instead of compensating for waste with bigger batteries, it eliminates the waste itself. Lightweight composite construction keeps the vehicle well under 2,000 pounds in most configurations. That low mass amplifies the effectiveness of every kilowatt hour stored on board. Smaller batteries deliver ranges that rival or exceed vehicles carrying far less energy. When charging is needed, it happens faster, costs less, and places less strain on infrastructure. Battery options scale from commuter-focused packs to extreme long-range versions capable of approaching a thousand miles under optimal conditions. This modular approach allows buyers to choose efficiency range, or performance without being locked into a single philosophy. The fastest acceleration is reserved for the largest battery and multi-motor setup, but even modest configurations benefit from the same aerodynamic and mechanical advantages. In daily driving, these design choices translate into something rare, effortlessness. Highway cruising feels calm and stable because the vehicle isn't battling turbulence. Urban driving feels responsive because torque is instant and mass is low. Regenerative braking recaptures energy smoothly, often allowing one-pedal driving that further improves efficiency. Concerns about stability are natural with a three-wheeled design, yet the wide front track, low center of gravity, and carefully engineered suspension geometry work together to enhance control. The battery sits low, the body sliced cleanly through air, and stability increases as speed increases, rather than degrading. Maintenance expectations also shift dramatically. With no oil changes, no transmission service, and far fewer wear components, long-term ownership becomes simpler and cheaper. The vehicle isn't just efficient to drive, it's efficient to keep. What Aptera ultimately represents goes far beyond performance numbers. It challenges a century of assumptions about how vehicles must be built. Internal combustion forced complexity. Gearboxes existed because engines were inefficient across wide operating ranges. Large fuel tanks existed because waste was unavoidable. Aptera asks what happens when all those constraints disappear entirely. The answer is a vehicle that accelerates like a sports car, cruises efficiently at highway speeds, generates its own energy, 
and redefines what sustainability looks like in practice. Not sacrifice, not compromise, just smarter design. Whether Aptera succeeds at scale remains to be seen, but the technology itself is real, the physics are sound, the prototypes exist. Tens of thousands of people have already placed deposits, not because the idea is trendy, but because it makes sense. The future of transportation isn't about slightly improving yesterday's designs, it's about questioning why they existed in the first place. Aptera doesn't just offer speed, or efficiency, or innovation, it offers proof that all three can coexist. And once you see that possibility, it becomes very hard to accept anything less.